Oh, I just noticed that we have a planetary base over at Monocerostis 3. So we're going to have to deal with that. And again, at this point, like, I'm still not convinced of putting down defenses. Like, now that I'm expanding a little bit further, maybe I should, but... I don't know. It still doesn't feel... right. It doesn't feel like it's going to be effective, because I'd have to put down defenses, like, everywhere. Well, let's take out... Start sweeping these planets first. Warp engine deactivated. Oh, look at that. Okay, now I gotta disable this. No more indicator. All right, so we are on Zeta Sextanis. <laughs> All right, let's take him out. And then we're also gonna take your thermal power here. Dark Vog base core destroyed. Light mode. Dark Fog Base Core destroyed. Yeah, that threat is going up like really quickly. All right, let's hook these up. Still got plenty of units. Dark fog base core destroyed. Light mode. Okay, so we got three more on this planet. Once they're gone, we'll start setting up. All right, two more. It's on the other side of the planet, isn't it? Yeah, they're both together, it looks like. You don't. Okay, these guys are attacking. So I might as well just intercept them. Yeah, the combat in the game is very simplistic. Like, all I have to do is walk up to them and then I just raffle stomp them. So now we have this planet. Start building up our stuff. Like, I do need to put down the solar panels because this is like, it's taking up a lot of space in my inventory. So we'll just do a wind and solar combo since it's pretty much even. 150 for wind and 153 for solar.
Let's just do it like that. So this planet is going to have a lot of power. And then we'll go this way. Still got a lot of wind turbines. Put our stuff over here. And then proliferators. Start demanding it. So why aren't I getting conveyor belts? Is it? Oh shit, it's too far away, isn't it? Oh no, I'm gonna have to set it somewhere else. Or... Yeah, what the hell is going on here? You know, it probably is too far away, and I'll probably have to get, like, another, uh, thing of this going. Uh, probably should put that on a planet where we can actually, like, get lots of, uh, iron and copper, because that's what we really need. I could probably do it... Yeah, you know what? That area over there, Planet 2, Slight looks good. Just gonna have to wait for the transport. Oh, it looks like it's this transport, these transports right here. Like, I do need to increase its speed. Okay, so I still have these accumulators. Light mode. Probably should put them down somewhere. Probably should start getting these resources, uh, mined. Just a little bit of everything. Just to get things started. Solar panels should have arrived by now. There we go. And so we're probably gonna have to 
redo some of these resources all over again just to supply this hub. There we go. Flight mode. I need to put these accumulators somewhere as well. Mineral depleted. I also need to connect all of these geothermal power stations. Because I didn't connect all of them just yet. So anyway. Just do this. Mineral depleted. Uh, we'll just delete this line over here. And that's good enough. Okay, that geothermal power might be a problem. So let's put it down here. Unless we get rid of that geothermal power over there and just fill it with concrete. So, I think we can afford to do that. But anyway. Let's go ahead and put that... Right! No vertical launch silos. Oh, well, let's just ship the rockets here first. Really only need a thousand at this point in time. And then that could stay there for the time being. Probably not going to get shipped out, is it? We're a long way from home, though. Mineral depleted. Okay, is this... This is not connected. Light mode. So I gotta figure out what to be making on this planet. Because we do have a lot of power, but... The only thing we really have on this planet is copper. And titanium and stone. So I'm guessing we're just gonna ship stuff here or export the copper somewhere else where there's silicone to make processors. Maybe this can just be like an export planet. And then we'll ship in like intermediate materials here. There we go. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here for the time being. I need to get the vertical launch silos. Actually, I need to copy and paste like our Dyson Spear over here. And then we'll bring it over here. Paste it. Yeah, there we go. I really don't want to be Designing another shell. Like, better to just copy and paste it. 
Okay, so we'll go to Hub 2. We'll deal with the Hive over there later on. Okay, we got five of them. Let's just take them out. I know that the Dark Fog drops a whole bunch of loot, and I need them for, like, better, like, production facilities, but... At this point, I'm not really caring about that. That's why I'm not, like, picking up all of the loot. Even though I'll probably need lots of it later on. Probably should, like, put down the geothermal power right now. to put down Mineral something on that first one if I can find it again that's oh, right over there so I think we're gonna get set up some turbine production on this planet as well as some more titanium alloys Okay, I should probably start putting down the water pumps here. I probably should have brought our Mineral solar panels over here. Uh, whatever. I guess we'll connect these up for the time being. That was another geothermal power. That's like really far away, so I won't worry about it for the time being. Well, let's do the splitters first. Oh, 
Come on. At this point, since it is getting laggy, like, when I put a building down and move the mouse, it actually drags it a little bit before getting placed. So it might not be where I want it to be when I put it down. So the trick here is to just uh, keep your mouse button, like, or at least keep the cursor still while you put it down. hook these up so again this is turbines and titanium alloys Okay, so I think I'll put these three like this. Oops. Okay, so now we'll put uh, Oh, we need the tanks over here. And then we'll put our thing over here. And this will just be purely for the sulfuric acid. Wait a minute, I just realized this should actually go Mineral depleted. like this. And then we move you like this. to like connect this all the way here at least temporarily until we can bring more solar panels in this direction or you know why don't I just like sit down in hell like we have lots of wind turbines and double check here actually this should just be pure solar panels so never mind Where are you, solar panels? Mineral depleted. Oh, I also need to start covering this stuff. 
get rid of this, and get rid of this. They all just get the solar panels from uh, the other planet. Mineral depleted. Mineral depleted. Light bulb. Yeah, let's get out of here for the time being and then. Gotta find the other planet now. There we go. Warp engine activated. So these two planets are just gonna be, I guess, the main Warp production, I guess. Cruise ended. And it will just take all of the solar panels. Alright, back over here. Warp now, I do want to create like an efficient blueprint for the turbines this time around. Warp engine deactivated. Cruise ended. All right, I need to get rid of this. I'll probably go around this. And there we go. Should have plenty of power for the time being. And then this is just gonna build up our uh, sulfuric acid reserves. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't put it over here. Let's put it like over here. And then this will be for... Like, I think I'll just put the conveyors and the s sorters on that other planet and then leave this for something else. Like, maybe arc smelters. Uh, maybe splitters over here. Because we are going to need that. And then maybe MK3 assemblers. And then this will export, I guess, our 
titanium alloys and our turbines once we get this. And we'll put these in. Alright. Let's finish this up. And our research is almost done for the station integrated logistics. And power is good. So, still have plenty of solar panels still. Try to burn Upgrade them off. Complete. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need titanium as well. Uh, I wanna try to get this little piece over here. Yeah, there we go. Easy enough. Alright, I think we have all the basic resources we need for titanium alloys. Now we just need to start putting down our smelters here. Oh jeez. I don't have enough sorters. You know what? Never mind. Probably should just... Do this. I'm gonna be expanding these planets a lot anyway, so I guess it makes sense to do this. Oh, yeah, I do need the smelters. And then I'm also going to put down uh, the iron ore. Oh yeah, we also need magnets as well. Hmm, maybe we can do these recipes here. So, two in one iron ingots to magnets. Need to line these up with each other. Light mode. Still waiting on that. And then, okay, so we got the iron ingots and magnets. Now I'm gonna do. Iron ingots copper? Wait, no. Let's 
72. Wait, 36. Oh, jeez. I didn't save these blueprints. Okay, I guess we'll do pure copper ingots or... Yeah, just do pure copper ingots. Just need to line this up. Hard to line it up when you zoom in like this. Uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of, before we do that, uh, proliferators. I forgot about those. Okay, proliferators, where are you? We're not going to be getting proliferators over here, are we? Okay, these are here now. Just max out the storage for the finished products here. Oh, I do need to change this. Like, I want to double the amount of power consumption from the default. I probably should deal with this before I start making that efficient blueprint I was talking about. Definitely going to need more magnets than that. Hmm. So we'll do pure iron ingots and then pure magnets. Ooh, what the hell? Because it was not aligned. Should only be colliding uh, with the power poles there. <laughs> 